Millions of eyes turn to the West. Trembling fingers open the envelope of destiny. Ladies and gentlemen, the award for the best actor in a leading role is... Every camera in the building zooms in on the carefully rehearsed, spontaneous outpouring of emotion. As the victor rises from his seat, he emotes all the way to the microphone and that little golden idol called Oscar. And in a voice that drips sincerity like a leaking faucet, he begins his acceptance speech. Ladies and gentlemen of the Academy, my dear friends, I, I can't tell you what an amazing honor it is to be standing here today. But there are just so many people, ladies and gentlemen, that are here tonight that I have to thank my wonderful producer and my wonderful, wonderful director and all those wonderful, wonderful people behind the camera. But ladies and gentlemen, there's someone here tonight that, that's really special. Some ladies and gentlemen, that without whom none of this would have been possible. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank me. I can't tell you what it was like to work with me, the incredible generosity of me as me and me did one scene after another. Ladies and gentlemen, there'll never be another me. One of the dangers of fame is that you can start to believe your own press release. The Medrash, the oral Torah, tells us that when Moshe grew up, he grew not like the way of the world. The way of the world is that when a person becomes a celebrity, he develops this insidious amnesia. He forgets or he makes himself forget where he came from. Moshe was a prince in the house of the king. Nevertheless, he grew up not like the way of the world. He went out to his brothers. He got down off his golden platform and went out to the people. He never became a, a legend in his own lunchtime. 